welcome back to Marketing with Riza, and this is our business spotlight for the forum. I'm very excited to have Dr. Alan Stern here with me today. Um, the whole purpose of this is to help you understand the resources that are available to you and to highlight what I think is different, new, exciting, and just things that will benefit you. So thank you so much, Dr. Stern, for being here with me today. And I'm very excited to talk with our audience about what you do and how you help other dentists to be, as you say, better, richer, and stronger. So if we could start by potentially you just giving us a little bit of information about what inspired this change and this focus for you um, at this point in your career. Sure. First, first, let me start by saying every time you and I talk, and we've done so a dozen or so times, it is always a delight. It's always a joy. And I wind up learning something even when I'm talking to you. So <laughs> oh, thank you. It's always good to be in your company, Grace. Uh, I've been practicing dentistry for 36 plus years. And like anything else, you go through a growth spurt, you, you have your ups and downs, but hopefully if you're practicing or doing anything for a period of time, you learn and you look back and you say, wow, I can do this a little bit better. Or I, maybe if I had thought differently, life would be better. Some of us beat ourselves up over that. Some of us kind of smack ourselves around because we think we did the wrong thing. We think we're not where we're supposed to be. And here I am 36 years later working with more enthusiasm, having more fun, jumping out of bed Monday mornings. Okay, fine. I like to play, but coming into work is a, is a good thing. And I am not stopping. I'm just getting started, Grace. Wow. How did I get to this point? Well, my life is not a storybook. Nobody's is. No honest person will tell you that they were born uh, with, you know, with everything perfect, everything rosy, and sailed through life um, without a problem. There are many problems in dentistry. I have them. We all have them. And I woke up one morning, maybe about four or five years ago, this, now, this is after some 30 years of practice, and I realized that my life is pretty darn good. I realized that even suffering, and I did suffer through financial issues. I suffered through some of the issues where dentists beat themselves up all the time needlessly. Yeah. Needlessly. Can you think of a story or a time that you wish you could go back in time and give yourself some support or tell yourself something that you know now that you wish you knew then? Because isn't that a big part of what you do? Yeah, let me twist that around a little bit, though. The answer is no. The answer is that, like any other dentist, I went through adversity. And maybe mine is worse than some, maybe mine is better than some, but I've been kicked around a little bit. And every adverse incident that happened to me has set me up to be what I am today. I'm better, richer, and I'm stronger because I understand through this experience that everything that I thought that happened to me was bad was actually a growth experience. Wow. I know this. Now, I can take a dentist in any stage of their career, whether they're a dental student or somebody with even as much experience in chair side as me, and we can start to look at things differently as a result of what I've learned. So the answer is no. I am glad that I grew. I'm glad that I learned. And I'm glad now that I adjusted my life so that I can work out with a trainer. I can eat healthy. I can consult a nutritionist. I can come in here with minimal financial pressure, not zero, minimal financial pressure, and knowing exactly who I am because I went through that process. I have to say, because I've had several conversations with you, and every time I get off the phone with you, I feel better. Even if I got on the phone and I was already feeling great, I feel better. And that's really a gift that you have that I'm not sure how you do it because it's like magic to me. But every time I talk to you, I get off the phone and I feel, I feel good. And I, I think a lot of um, 
a lot of us that are in business, we're very focused on what could be better, right? Yeah. And so we're, we're a lot of times focusing on how we can improve and this, and sometimes forget to celebrate what has gone right and to see the positives. And there's something about your method of, of coaching and of communication that is such a positive experience that until you experience it yourself, it's really hard to put into words what that is. So I don't know if you want to talk on that, but. Well, it's what I tell dentists and what I even tell, I don't even like to call them my patients. They're more like my friends, the people who come here for treatment. The most important dental instruments and the most important coaching instruments I have a very high tech device that right here. Generous listening is a concept that I learned from some of my teachers. And the art of what I do is really uh, the discipline of being quiet, listening very carefully to what somebody is telling me, whether it's one of my friends here or one of my coaching clients, and enabling people to see what they can't see. We all have blind spots. Even I do, and I have coaches who help me see my own blind spots. Uh, somebody said, you can't see your own eyebrows. So all sometimes we need is an active listener to reflect back what we're saying and to help us ponder it a little bit, and all of a sudden we see things much, much differently. We in dentistry have a power that very few people have. And in power, I mean in a very, very good sense. We can change people's lives in some way, somehow, whether it's with our instruments, our advanced techniques, our care, skill, and judgment, or even here in the office, sometimes it's just listening to somebody. Because when we understand, in dentistry, when we understand who the patient is, our treatment plans flow much better. In coaching, all we need to do is listen to that client very carefully and help them understand, A, that their life's pretty good, and B, to build their lives around what makes them happy. We can do that in dentistry. We got choices that few other professions or occupations have. It's the beauty of what we do. Absolutely. And when you're talking, it just I just get captivated by what you're saying. You're just such a good speaker in my mind, and it's, it's powerful stuff. So describe to me who... The, the person who would get the most benefit in working with you look describe to me kind of, you know, I'm in marketing. So I, I think in, I think in target markets, I think, okay, there are, you know, over a hundred thousand dentists out there. Um, you're not going to be for everyone. That's just Correct. the nature of business. So tell me about who you connect with and kind of describe your target market. My target market is primarily people younger than me. It's almost everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but the young dentist who's trying to find their direction, there are so many different confusing pathways to success. Private practice, corporate practice, aesthetic dentistry, um, restorative dentistry. Sleep uh, apnea, implants, sleep apnea. Botox. There you go. <laughs> um, the dentist who's lost, the dentist who is close to being there but just doesn't quite know what steps to take to make themselves happy and fulfilled. The other target I would have are the guys about 15 to 20 years younger than me, the guys in their mid-30s to their mid-50s who really don't see themselves as having accomplished anything and don't see any possibility of any uh, beautiful, successful, um, loving life kind of career because we have it. It's right under our noses. It was under mine, and for 20, 25 years, I didn't see it. And I am so blessed and so fortunate to have figured it out. We all, we dentists have it really good, and we can keep it that way. So that the target is people who are unsure of their direction or people who are out in the middle of the ocean in their profession and haven't got a navigator or the compass, I can really help you see it and, and right your ship and really sail into success. Awesome. 
So maybe that person who doesn't know exactly what they need to become fulfilled and to get to the point where they love what they're doing and they're, they're enjoying their profession and they're enjoying their life in general. Would that be an accurate way to recap well, that? Yeah. Um, well, sometimes, Grace, we take our problems home with us. And sometimes we take the burdens of our office home with us. And we fail to realize that life is also balanced between work, play, love, and worship, as Dr. Pankey taught us decades ago. So, again, we got to enjoy our life. We've got to know what makes us happy. We have to build our lives around what makes us happy. Grace, our constitutional right, no matter where you are politically, is life, liberty, and the pursuit of what? Happiness. Happiness. Mm -hmm. And we can do that inside and outside our offices with the proper attitude and with taking our practices and building and branding it around what makes us feel good. Mm -hmm. Do that. A little yeah. consistency, a little attitude. Um, an attitude, by the way, you're in Chicago where people are so cool. I'm in New Jersey where attitude means something else. <laughs> I'm New Jersey attitude. Got a problem with that? <laughs> attitude toward life. You can do it. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm just honored to know you and excited to see the lives that you change and that you improve outside of your practice. And I think to have walked the path that you've walked and have those experiences that you can use to relate to people is huge. And I know, like I've said a bunch of times already, we've, we've had several conversations and I always feel uplifted. I always feel positive. I, I always feel good. And that to me is special. And that to me is unique and different. So I encourage anyone who's kind of out there going, Oh, I don't, I don't really know if I need a coach or I don't really know um, what I need, you know, but maybe I feel like I need a little something. I would encourage them to give you a call and to just have a conversation about their life. I'd love it. Um, I also have a really, really good and getting better every day as I'm working on it um, presentation called Better, Richer, Stronger. And we can speak to groups. We can speak to study clubs um, for an hour, for two hours. Um, and that's growing. That's going to grow into a full day presentation as I, as I build it. But we'll, we'll talk about attitude. We'll talk about branding. We'll talk about the importance of branding and knowing who you are. We'll talk about the importance of living healthy, um, diet, exercise, social life. It's all in there. It's all part of the big picture that makes you get up in the morning and say, hey, life's pretty good and I'm going to make it good for somebody else today. We can do that. Absolutely. I love it. Well, um, anything that you want to tell our listeners or our viewers before we, we say goodbye? Well, first of all, thank you for the listen. And thank you, Grace. Every time I'm in the presence of you and I can connect to a young, successful, dynamic person, uh, you've kind of validated me. So I so appreciate that. Oh. My phone number here at the office is 732-493-8030. If you want to give Fran a call, she's the front desk person that I've been living with for the past God knows how long. <laughs> uh, speak to you. You could also uh, email me at uh, betterrichestronger at gmail.com or alanstern.dds at gmail.com. I check them all. So awesome. thank you so much for having me. I, I hope I've touched somebody today and uh, let them realize that uh, this is a pretty darn good profession and there's plenty, plenty of opportunity for all of us. Thank you so much, Dr. Stern. I hope you have a great day. You too, Grace. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.